YouTube, Crystal Lee from the Bronx. And today, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I should I wanted to film how I do my um beef. This is um beef cube steak. And what I do is I pound them out really thin. And then I put um some uh black pepper, some adobo, some minced um onion, and some regular salt. Um and then in the inside, they're already rolled up, guys. I'm sorry, I roll them up. So I pound them out, season them generously, and then I put in the insides, I put frozen peppers, onions, frozen red red peppers and green peppers and onions and then i put um uh one clove of fresh garlic as well and it goes and i put it in a cast iron um skillet so i'm gonna go and let's put it on the stove i don't have no light over here guys my freaking light on the top broke that's why i haven't done cook with me videos so anyway so this is it and then we're gonna put um Oil, water, and vinegar, and cover it up, okay? All right, guys. All right, guys, so I'm back trying to do a little better picture for you. Um, I have my um, heat on six right now, okay? So I'm going to start off, and I'm just going to put a little bit of oil, just a little bit, an eyeball. So, sorry guys, I can't tell you exactly what's what. A little bit of vinegar. And water. So, actually I'm going to let the, um... Oh, and I forgot to mention guys, I did use a packet of Sasson. Chill. I did use a packet, because I'm making six, I got six, um... Cube steaks in here. So one of these with the other ingredients that I told you. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I, I put the oil and the vinegar here. And then what I do is I just kind of do this. And just get it all mixed in together. Right? Look at how delicious that looks. Right? I'm going to let that go for like maybe five minutes. Maybe three minutes. And then I will put some water. Um, not a lot, guys. Like maybe if, if I'm doing this cup, maybe like this much. You know? Just like maybe halfway through the steak. Anyway, guys, this is the way I make it. Everybody makes a difference. So do you. Just showing you the way I make it. So I'm going to go get some water. And I usually use bottled water. Um, so I'm good. That's that's what I'm gonna use, guys. Bottled water. I always use bottled water when I cook. <clears throat> this is the stuff that I used yesterday for um, my rice. So I would say, let's see. I would say that's good. Yeah. Let me check. I gotta see if it's... Let's see. Yeah. I think it looks good. It's about halfway, literally halfway up to the cube steaks. Then I'm gonna get the cover. And then we're gonna cover it, guys. And... Uh, we're gonna cover it okay so then just leave it like this and covered um i leave my biste for about hour and a half i let it simmer um so the water's already boiling matter of fact let me show you guys okay see you guys you can see the water already boiling see See, I'm so sorry, guys. I got to get a freaking light in here. 
And once I get my new stove up in here, we're going to start doing some new, some cooking stuff, girl. Because I cook every day. Every day this mama cooks. So, anyway, guys. So, then we put the covers on. And we're going to, like I said, let and sit that. My beef stay, I usually let sit for about <clears throat> an hour and a half. Maybe even two hours, you know. But you always want to make sure there's still juice in here. Because that's the best part. So, the best part... And then I made some fluffy uh, white rice. So that's the best part, guys, with the biste is you put that biste, you put that piece of biste on top of that pile of bed of rice, right? And you let all those juices from the peppers and the garlic and the onions soak into that rice. And then when you cut into that biste, that piece of steak, you're going to have all those onions and peppers. And the taste is amazing, guys. I just started doing my biste like this maybe three or four years ago because I never did it like that. I would pound it out and I would make it just the way I made it, but I wouldn't put nothing in it and wrap it up. And so now I pound it out and I put the fresh, whatever you want, frozen or fresh vegetables in there. And then you... You roll them up like if you was to rolling up a burrito. And and then that's how they, you know, and that's how they look. Like little like, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's delicious. But um, if I remember, I will take a picture of my plate when I'm eating dinner. So that's dinner tonight. Um, biste, Spanish biste con um, ajo blanco, which is white rice. And then I'm going to make a salad. Bye, guys. I love you.